This video is going to demonstrate how to connect an AJA 4K I.O. to Wirecast to stream multiple cameras online. The first thing that you need to do is install the drivers onto the computer. I've already installed the drivers for the AJA 4K I.O. onto this computer. Now I want to plug in the AJA 4K I.O. Now even though this cable looks similar to a cable that you might use for a headset or a communication device or a microphone, you're not going to ever plug in one of those cables here, just this power cord. This power cord plugs in, you push it in until it clicks, and then you need to plug in the Thunderbolt cable. The Thunderbolt cable is used to transfer the information to the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the Thunderbolt. You'll notice that there's two slots. You can plug it in. The two slots allow you to daisy chain and connect more devices. In this case, we're going to simply connect one device. When we connect this device to our computer, it may ask us for a firmware update. If this happens, it's a good idea to open up and see if there is a firmware update. To do that, you click on the notification that pops up, click on firmware, and you can see what is installed. Right now, it's in 4K mode, or you can install the UFC mode. We're going to go ahead and continue on with the 4K mode as this will allow us to bring in four different video signals using this device. So it looks like it's set up. We're going to go ahead and close this and then we're going to open up Wirecast. With Wirecast open, if we click on the plus, and go to Capture Devices, we will see that it has four different options. It has an I.O., 4K, SDI 1, 2, 3, and 4. Four different signals that we can bring in. Let's go ahead and connect these signals to make sure it works. So I'm going to quit out of Wirecast while I connect the cables. It's a good idea to connect everything before you power up the device, but I wanted to show you how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the device from the computer, and we're going to connect all of the cables. In order to connect the cable to the AJA 4K I.O., you need to have an SDI connection and a BNC connector. I'm going to connect this BNC connector on slots 2, 3, and 4. And I'm going to explain in just a minute why I'm choosing 2, 3, and 4 to connect to this device. To connect the BNC, simply find the slots inside the BNC cable and match those up with the pins on the clip that you're trying to install. Then you twist, and as you twist the cable, it locks it in place and makes it so it stays. I have previously connected these two cameras to the cameras that we are watching. I want to connect a, camera, a cable to the camera now as well. So I'm going to connect this one. Again, I match up the slots and I twist the connector until it locks in place. And it is locked in place. Now I'm going to connect the other end of this cable to a camera so you can see how that is done. I have a, a Canon camera that has SDI video output here. The SDI video will allow me to send high definition video signal through this single cable. I'm going to go ahead and match up again. I want to match up these pins with the groove in the connector and I push down and I twist until it locks in place. I'm going to turn on that camera so that we can see it. I want to open Wirecast now that I have all my cameras connected and powered on. I want to connect the Thunderbolt cable to the computer. After it is connected, I'm going to open up Wirecast. It may ask me to install a new firmware uh, update. I've already checked. I have the current firmware, so I am fine with that. I'm going to click continue when Wirecast opens. Let me full screen the shot. 
So now in Wirecast, we want to connect the AJA 4K so that we can see the different signals. We've installed the drivers, we have everything plugged in, we can simply come up to Capture Devices. Now remember, I put the, the cameras into 2, 3, and 4. So if I select Camera 2, you can see I have that camera. If I select Camera 3, you can see our overhead camera. And if I select Camera 4, it's not working. To access that, you simply tap on Function, Menu, go over to the gear, and scroll to where it says Output Terminal. And here we can choose. Make sure that you either have HD, SDI, and HDMI turned on, or HD, SDI. In this case, I'm going to send out both signals. Once you have all three shots set up where you can see all three, you're almost ready to go. We have our three shots. But I talked earlier about having a fourth shot. Now to have a fourth shot, we can either have an SDI or we can use the HDMI input. In this case, we're going to use the HDMI input with a smaller camera that we can focus in on the scoreboard. This is simple to do. You simply connect the camera using an HDMI cable. Find the HDMI in on your, on your AJ4K. Plug in the HDMI cable to the HDMI in port. So now we have four different cameras connected. If we go and choose to connect the capture device, it's not going to work. It's looking for an HDMI signal, so we have to fix that. I'm going to delete that shot. In order to fix this, if we come up to the three dots when we have a shot selected, it says AJ Multi-Channel Config Configure. We can come in here, we can select this, and it's asking us, channel one, where is this coming from? We're going to change it to HDMI in. So now we may have to restart Wirecast in order for it to, the changes to appear. But if we come through, yep, it's still showing up as SDI. So we're going to go ahead and quit out of Wirecast. I'm not going to save it in this case. I'm going to open Wirecast with all four cameras connected. I should be able to see all four video signals. With all four cameras connected, I open up Wirecast. I'm going to maximize so we can see it. I want to bring in the four video signals. I click on the plus. Capture devices. Notice how it now says HDMI in one. Notice how we can see the display coming through the camera. In order to turn this off, what we need to do is click on the menu, choose the middle settings where it says on-screen markers, then go down to where it says output on-screen displays. If we turn this off, we should now have a clean video signal. Each camera is different, but if you can figure, if you see the displays, make sure to turn them off before you broadcast. So we have our four cameras set up. I'm going to connect the other cameras. And so here we have our four different camera shots inside of Wirecast, all coming from 
the AJA 4K I.O. If you needed to add an extra device or even more cameras and your computer was capable of it, you could add another Thunderbolt cable, plug it in, and you could daisy chain it to another device in order to connect more cameras. For our case though, in class, four cameras is more than enough. Three cameras for the action, one camera for our scoreboard, and this is how you connect the AJA 4K I.O. into Wirecast for multi-camera streaming.